All right, I noticed here on the show and in my email that we've been getting a lot of phone calls and a lot of emails about how can I truly see what's going on at home? Maybe you want to see what's happening with your parents, with the kids, uh, sometimes even your pets. You want to see what they're doing during the day. I can assure you most of the time they're sleeping. But if you have a desktop computer at your house, a laptop, a tablet, what you can do is turn that existing gear that's just sitting there doing nothing during the day and turn it into a surveillance camera so that with the right app or by going to a specific website that you can see exactly what's going on. And the good news is, is that there are some great programs and apps that are absolutely free. So like, for example, uh, there's a program called Sighthound. It allows you to record when motion is detected. It can tell the difference between people and objects. It allows you to detect movement in like doors and windows as an extra precaution. Another program called iCam Source works with almost any webcam. And there are some apps that you might want to buy for it. They're not expensive, like $5 each. And then there's also iSpy. It's a free open source camera. Now, if you don't have a webcam, you want to buy one, certain things that you need to look at. The image quality, you want a 720 uh, PhD. Night viewing, super important. And expensive webcams, they have low light recording problems. It's like, okay, so you're going to put that there and then you can't even see it? Why bother? You want motion sensing, you want pan and tilt and zoom. And then also when one webcam just won't cover it, that's when you want to take a look at these multi-cam surveillance systems. And as always, you can depend on us for trusted advice. We have it free for the taking in this privacy and security tip of the week that you can check out over at commando.com. And the direct link is right there on that show picks page. Once again, that's commando.com. Just hit the show picks button.